What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the new default theme for WordPress 2019. We're going to take a first look at what the developers at WordPress have in store for us. All right, so if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way whenever I create new videos, you'll be notified. I create videos on how to code WordPress themes, how to code WordPress plugins, how to manage a WordPress powered website, along with a bunch of other videos as well. And if you want to learn more about Pixamweb, you can head over to pixamweb.com, go to the about page, and here you can get some information about how I became a full-time freelance web developer. All right, so for this demonstration, I'm going to use MAMP, which is a local web server. I'm using an installation over here. And as you can see, currently I have the 2017 theme installed. And I have some demo content along with some images and things of that nature. This is the 2017 default theme. And if you recall, we did not have a 2018 default theme. That was skipped. But now the developers at WordPress are going to create for us a 2019 theme. And that's what we're going to take a look at. All right, so I'm going to go to the back end of the website here. One thing I do want to mention is you should have Gutenberg installed, the Gutenberg plugin itself. That way you can get familiar with it. And I have a bunch of videos on how to work with Gutenberg. And I'll leave them up in the video cards and down below in the description area. So definitely take a look at both places. I'm going to go over here to Appearance and Themes. Now we know that whenever you want to get a theme for WordPress, one of the best places to look is the theme repository. So as you can see here, I have the 2015, 2016, and 2017 theme. I'm going to go over here to Add New. And these are the themes that you see that pop up when you uh, click the Add New icon. We don't see 2019. All right, so I'm going to do a search for it. All right, no themes found. Try a different search. All right, so I'll try 2019. Again, no themes found try a different search. All right, so what's happening here? What I'll do is I'll go check out the featured, popular, latest, and we don't see it. All right, so I'm going to go to the website itself, wordpress.org, go to themes, go to popular, latest. And if we type out a search here, we're going to get the same results. No themes found. All right, so what's going on here? I did mention we're going to take a look at the 2019 theme and that we're going to do. All right, so in order to see it, I'm going to bring in a new tab over here. We have to go to GitHub. If you go to github.com forward slash WordPress forward slash 2019, you're going to land on the um, GitHub page for this. And we're going to see that they're working hard at making sure that it's uh, hopefully going to be ready when they release WordPress 5.0 or at least ready by the end of the year. So if we scroll down, we see all the files that it comes with and we see the readme file. This is version 1.0. 2019 is a Gutenberg ready theme for WordPress. Shows you how to install it. All right, so wait, if we go over here, what are we going to see? Nothing yet. It's a work in progress. All right, so how can we actually work with this? Well, the good thing is we can actually just download it over here. Click on clone or download, download the zip file. Now the fact that this is not on wordpress.org means that this is pretty much in beta. They're working out all the issues, they're working out all the kinks, and they're trying to get it ready, hopefully for a release with WordPress 5.0. So now I'm gonna go to my downloads folder here, and then I'm going to extract the file and folders. All right, so now we have it extracted. All right, so what I'm going to do here, since I'm on Windows, you get two top-level folders itself. So I'm going to go into the 2019-master folder, and I'm going to grab this folder here. I'm going to copy that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my htdocs folder, into my WordPress folder, into my wp-content folder, into my themes folder, and I'm going to paste it right there. So now we have the 2019-master folder. I'm going to go back to my local installation. I'll click on themes. And now we see we have 2019 right there. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm going to activate this theme now. And it activates. Let's visit the site. 
All right, so now let's scroll down. Let's see how this actually looks for our content. All right, so we have the content here on the left side. Let's see how this looks over here, the demo post. Okay, let's go back to the um, home page. Scroll down. Again, remember, I'm zoomed in over here just so you can see this a little bit better. This shows you how this styling on the front page is going to be or on the home page itself by default. All right, let me go back up. Now let's go to the customize section. See how the customizer works. So we have our site identity, which is pretty typical. We have our color section, the background image area. We have menus, home page settings, and the additional CSS section. All right. Now let's see how our widgets look. Wait a second. We don't have a widget section. All right, let's do a theme check. Let's check it. Okay, it says that we have um, a required over here. Doesn't seem to display tags. We have a recommended that there's no sidebar widget areas. Your theme appears to be in the wrong directory. And it found some uh, missing text domains for the translations. And some other recommended options here. All right, so what's going on here? Again, remember, this is a beta release. This is not ready for prime time yet. So a lot of these things are going to be resolved. Now, the reason why we have this warning here is because we have the master file itself. So I'm going to go here, back to themes. I'm going to temporarily activate the 2017 theme. Then I'm going to go back to my folder here. And I'm going to remove the dash master. Go back here. I'm going to reload. And now let's activate the 2019 theme again. Now let's go back to theme check. Let's check it again. Now we lost that one warning. But we still have a couple more over here. Now again, most of these will be resolved, or actually all of these should be resolved by the time the 2019 theme is officially released. And it's also likely that the theme check plugin itself is not updated to uh, take into consideration any new features or requirements based on what WordPress wants. All right, so now let's see if we can go to settings and reading. Let's look at how a static page will look or a static home page. And we'll choose this for the blog role. We'll save changes. Let's go back to the front of the site. All right, so this is the front page itself. Let's create some menus. I'm going to call this one a test menu. Create. We're going to say primary. It seems like we have two menu locations, the primary and social links menu. All right, so now I'll take uh, the front page, the blog page itself. I'll take the page markup and formatting, page image alignment. I'll add those to the menu. I'm just going to rename this here to keep the menu kind of short. And I'll save this one. And now I'll create another menu. Call it social. And then I'll go to custom links. And I'll just type out a couple of uh, links over here. And I'll save that. I'm going to go back to the other test menu here. Good, that's uh, check to primary. All right, good. So let's see how it looks now. All right, so they have to do some work on the actual menu itself. And these are the social media links and how they look. All right, so this is a sneak peek at the 2019 default theme for WordPress. Now let me take a look at some of the um, files themselves in the code editor. Go right here. I'm going to add that folder. All right, so these are the files right here. I'm using the Atom Text Editor for this. And you could also just take a look at the files over here on GitHub and see what they do. But now let's see what files they're including. We have the customizer right here. You can get a hint of where they're going or the direction they're going in by looking at these files. If you're a developer, this is going to be something you might want to take a look at. See how they're changing their code 
from the previous default themes. This is a great way to learn how to code WordPress themes or WordPress plugins. Take a look at some of the default themes and some of the more popular plugins to see how they code their solutions. Template tags. See what's going on here. This is my first look with you. So you know I'm going to be diving into this and getting more familiar with how they're going to be um, coding their default theme. Let's see if they have anything Gutenberg related. I'm going to search all for Gutenberg. And we see we have uh, the readme file here, the style-editor.css file here. So this is where you can get some information and seeing how they're planning to style the editor itself. And this is to match the um, front end, I believe. This is the SAS files. And that's it. All right, so that's it. We just took a look at the new 2019 default theme. Again, remember, it is a work in progress. It is not ready for prime time yet. This is just a first look. It's a sneak peek. This is not something you're going to be using on your website in its current form. Remember, as of the date of this recording, this theme is not on the WordPress repository. This can only be found on GitHub. And if you want to take a look at any issues they might have, this is stuff that they're working on right now and things they're going to want to resolve. So if you want to test this theme out, test it out locally on your computer. If you need to install a local web server, I have videos for that as well. So definitely check out the cards and the description area. Test it out locally. And if you want to share your thoughts or opinions, you can create a new issue over here on GitHub. Or you can uh, jump into one of the current conversations. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that notification icon. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Hey, check it. Hey, check it, put the place up.